Hello and welcome again to my presentation. This is a second part where I want to share some blended learning activities I carried out as a teacher trainer. Some years ago, I created a wiki space called ICT and Languages, where I made some teaching modules about learning technologies and I collected lots of materials I'm still using in my courses for language teachers. It's in Italian because I use them also for Italian teachers of French, German and Spanish. You can see here the main modules. They deal with online dictionaries, how to prepare online tests with immediate feedback, freeware material to learn foreign languages, how to do some podcasting activities, how to create online classes and wiki spaces. The latest modules I added are about G Suite for Education, Gamification Techniques, Flip Classroom Activities, How to Apply Open Educational Resources to Bilingual Activities for Primary Schools, and a specific module about clear methodology that leads to another platform I'll talk about later. During these short courses, I usually introduce some tools that can be applied to language teaching and learning, and then have my colleagues ed edit some pages in which they can experiment and produce some teaching activities. Here's an example. After a couple of lessons in presence, the course participants had to prepare their own page and say how they used some tools and what kind of activities they did. This teacher, for example, created a link to an external website, then created a vocabulary exercise using Quizlet, used ProProfs, the Quizmaker tool, to make a test she embedded in the Wikispace page, uploaded a PDF file and a picture to stimulate discussion, embedded a podcast from the website breakingnewsenglish.com, where you can find lots of free English lessons in seven levels, and used the song as a karaoke exercise. Here is the podcast and the video she used as a song. And these are the tools used, Quizlet, ProProps, and the website Breaking News English. As you could see, a Wikispace is a very powerful web space that allows teachers to create a learning community. Although a bit different, Padlet is an easier way of having a space where learners can collaborate. It's an online virtual bulletin board which allows users to create a hidden wall with a custom URL in a secure location. You can easily post messages, attach files, pictures and videos. This is my dashboard. With my recent teacher training courses I held also for subject teachers. I came across this website in 2010, it was called Wall Wisher at the beginning, when I took part in a wonderful course for web heads. BAW stands for Becoming a Web Head. On that occasion, I had the opportunity to work with an online community of educators from any part of the world who were interested in learning and sharing learning technologies and best practices. So, this is the finale and graduation page. The latest course I've coordinated for high school teachers of different subjects is this one. These colleagues experimented different tools and prepared specific lesson plans, including some of these tools. For example, this is a lesson on Sigmund Freud, a teacher recorded in a flipped learning environment. You can see he used a screencast tool, Screencast-O-Matic, which is very useful and easy to make video lessons for students. 
Actually, this is also the screencast tool I'm using to record this video. One of the potentialities of Padlet is that there's also a gallery where you can find lots of other Padlets created by many teachers for many purposes. If you watched my previous video about blended learning and language teaching, you may remember I talked about Edmodo. I'd like to show you another application of this learning platform to a blended learning course for clear teachers. Some years ago, I was an online tutor in two courses for subject teachers who took an English language course in order to teach part of their subject in English. The project is called CLIL, Content and Language Integrating Learning, and at the end of this course, these teachers had to take a language certificate at a B2 or C1 level, as stated in the Common European Framework of the Reference for Languages. These courses were organized by the Ministry of Education all over Italy as part of a national language training plan. They consisted in 90 hours of lessons in presence and in 40 hours of online lessons. As an online tutor, I divided the online course into eight weeks. Every 10 days, I sent these teachers different assignments, listening comprehension activities, links to external websites, grammar revision activities, Speaking activities uses simple but effective online voice recorders such as vocaroo.com, some vocabulary exercises, and quizzes. That is, tests and model can grade automatically. The last tool I'd like to share with you is one of the newest MOOC platforms that allows anyone to create, run, teach, and enroll in a course, Open Learning. I used Open Learning some months ago to set up a blended learning environment for a CLIL methodology course. CLIL stands for Content and Language Integrating Learning, and in Italy there's much interest in it. I wanted to try this new platform because it looks easy to use and practical. You can create a course divided into modules and pages. I wrote my course in three modules and about 15 pages for each module. I was assigned a course for primary, lower secondary and high school teachers. So I decided to set up a course which included 12 hours in presence and about 20 hours online. After each lesson, the course participants had to carry out some tasks. For example, in this page they had to watch a video and then post their teaching suggestions in the comment boxes. So the structure is effective because you can read all the comments on the page and at the same time teachers can share what they write and learn from each other. You can also prepare some quizzes in the platform with immediate feedback. This is an example of a matching quiz. Participants can be assessed and given a certificate when they complete the course. So this is the end of my presentation. Hopefully you found it useful. These are the tools and websites uh, we've seen. Wikispaces, G Suite for Education, Quizlet, ProProfs, Padlet, Edmodo, OpenLearning.com. In order to give you a list of tools and open educational resources for language teaching and learning, there's an interesting European project that presents a web inventory of online interactive materials with a search engine filtering tools according to language skills. The project is called ICT Rev. It was made by the European Centre for Modern Languages of the Council of Europe, and this is the link. Thank you very much for joining, and if you want to contact me, this is my email address.
Hi, my name is Paulino and I want to say thank you for watching this presentation at the Language Learning Summit. Please share with your friends on social media and don't forget to use the hashtag LangSummit. And go back to languagelearningsummit.com to look for other presentations as well as live sessions and networking sessions. See you soon!